three, two, one. Yeah, what's up, guys? It's Paul Wolfie here. We are back. Now, the first thing you want to do on this video, as always, is hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and also hit that bell so you do get a notification every time I do drop a brand new video. And last but not least, my Twitch channel is down in the description below, www.twitch.tv forward slash Connor Wolf. I stream all of my Road to Glory on there all seven days a week, although I haven't been streaming the last couple of days, so I felt a little bit under the weather, so I thought I'd just rest for a few days, you know how it is. But all of my RTG stuff is up on my Twitch channel. Everything else up on my Twitch channel as well. YouTube, a lot of you guys see like matched up highlights of my stream. So if you want to go see it live, make sure you go and drop my Twitch channel a follow. Now what we've got for you today anyway guys is the most overpowered players in each position on FIFA 21. Now I know you guys are probably looking at this video and going well he's going to say R9, Hullet, Vieira, blah blah blah. No, 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 no. The most expensive, I've gone, because of obviously we're very early on into FIFA, and not that many people have that many coins, I've just gone for every single player is worth below 100k in this team, okay? So, it's not like a team, it's like the players, so ignore the chemistry and stuff like that. So, every single player that you guys see is worth below 100k, which I thought is reasonable, because a lot of guys will probably have like two, 300k teams, so a lot of the guys in this team are worth like 5k, etc, etc, so... Do not be put off by the price tag of these players, guys, without even watching the video. You will guys love it, I promise you. Because it's a little bit boring, you know. Like, what's the point of me doing the most overpowered players in each position? You turn on the video, right? And going, oh, damn, look, he's picked R9 and Hullet. Well, I could have... My... Stevie Wonder could have told you that R9 and Hullet are overpowered in FIFA. You know what I'm saying? And he can't even see anything. So, without any further ado, let's get straight into it, boys. Goalkeeper, Donnarumma, my friends on YouTube. I know this is probably a bit of a curveball. You've got some Allisons in there, etc. You know, you've got Old Blacks, you've got the Casper Schmeichels. This keeper, whenever I come up against Donnarumma, is an absolute freak. All right, this guy, six foot five, 89 diving, 89 reflexes, 81 handling, 76 kicking, 83 position. Remember what I said to you at the start of FIFA 21? I can't remember if anyone remembered or not. But I said to you, goalkeepers with high reflexes are delusionally good on this game. I don't even know that's a word, delusionally. But they are incredible on this game. And Donnarum is six foot five with the 89 reflexes. I promise you, he's arguably one of the best keepers in the game, if not the best keeper in the game at the moment. He reminds me of last year's to Stegen. You remember when to Stegen was just a joke? Donnarumma is like that, believe you me. Now, right back. Wait, why don't I let me change? Oh, yeah, there we go. Right back, I've gone with Nelson Semedo. 5'10", medium high work rates. In my opinion, the best right back on the game. Flat out. I've used Carl Walker. I've used Semedo. I've used Jesus Navas, who is actually in my team at the moment on my road to glory. Semedo's the best. Okay, Semedo is the best. He's rapid, 92 pace, 82 dribbling. Four-star skill moves, three-star we fit. The medium high work rates are huge, and also the high agility and the high balance and high stamina are also huge on Semedo. It's why he feels even more quicker than, like, 92. I know that sounds weird, right? But he feels so quick. He's absolutely lightning quick. He always seems to catch up the strikers when they're running through a goal. You'll always just see Semedo running back, band tackle. Oh, thank you, mate. Cheers for that. Honestly, you can't go wrong with this card. And I know he's probably going to get a one to watch this week or next week. I can't remember which week, which team he's in. But he will be incredible. Definitely, if you guys are running like BPL teams, etc., get him in your team. Now, centre back, Lucas Hernandez. Six foot high, high. 77 pace. I absolutely love this card. You can pick this card up for around about 20,000 coins as well, which is just mind-boggling how cheap it is. He is incredible. Without a doubt, in terms of coin value, in terms of like value for coins, etc. In my opinion, one of the best centre-backs on the game. You can't go wrong with this card at all, man. 77 pace, flat out as well. 77 acceleration, 77 sprint speed. French, so you can link him up with Moose's Zocos, players like that. Ferland Mendes from Real Madrid. In my opinion, the perfect centre-back this year. Quality, quick, strong as well. Can't go wrong with him, ladies and gentlemen, believe you me. Uh, to partner him, it's a card that I have currently got on my road to glory. And in my opinion, the best centre-back on the game, bar Van Dijk. I do think Alaba's better than Varane. Having used Varane, I don't like the way Varane feels because of the agility and balance. But I like the way Alaba feels because of his high agility and high balance. Now, Varane has got quite low agility and balance. And what this means is, is that when he gets turned... He, he's like a truck turning around, you know. And I noticed this with Varane last year, and I noticed it again this year. It's why I don't particularly like Varane at all. So, Alaba and Lucas Hernandez, in my opinion, are the best centre-back pairing. And the fact they get a strong link to each other as well. 
Perfect. And the fact that you can get both of them for below 100k is just insane, honestly. The Alibis, Alibis better than Hernandez, and obviously the price reflects that. But there's not a lot in it. Believe you me, there's not a lot in it. Now, left back, I've gone with Ragudion. I could have gone with Alfonso Davies, players like that, Jordi Alba, etc. You know, Tellez has just joined Man United. But Ragudion for the price. Ragudion's around about like 8,000 coins. You cannot go wrong with that at all. Rapid, good agility, good balance, good stamina. The perfect fullback. And especially for the price. I didn't want to put too many expensive players in the team. Because obviously it is very early on in FIFA at the end of the day. A lot of you guys are probably looking at budget teams, etc. So I've gone with a cheaper option there. Regulion, can't go wrong with him, believe you me. Right mid, I've gone with Lucas Moura. There are other options on the bench, which I'll show you in a minute, which are very good as well. Lucas Moura, 5'9", high medium. The meta this year in attackers is pace. So as long as your guys are rapid, you're onto a winner. It doesn't really matter who they are, as long as they're in the high 90s pace, like low no um, high 80s, low 90s pace for a winger, with good agility and good balance like Lucas Moura's got. You're on to a winner, believe you me. Right, centre mid, I've gone with Lucas Goretzka. I've got him on my road to glory, of course. 60,000 coins. I love this card. It's an hour and hour CDM, box to box midfielder. Boom. This card is absolutely incredible. I think one of those cards that will definitely hold his price. I brought him for 60,000 coins. I don't see this card going much below around about 40,000 coins for the whole year because he's so well rounded and because of the links he gets to like Hernandez. Alaba, Davies, Sane, Douglas Costa, Coleman, Gnabry, players like this. He gets all of these strong links to these players. So, in my opinion, can't go wrong with this card at all. Now, left centre mid, I've gone with Marcus Lorente. If you guys remember RTG episode number one, our first noticeable pull on the RTG. It proper helped us actually, like a lot. Six foot high, high work rates, absolutely rapid. 84 pace, 81 dribbling, 74 shooting, 78 defending, 79 passing, and 82 physical. An unbelievably well rounded card, honestly. If any of you guys are building like a La Liga hybrid, etc., definitely get him in your team in CDM. What a card, by the way. Especially if his value as well. He's like 20,000 coins. I mean, come on. If this card was in the Premier, it'd be about 100k. Easy. Absolute insane card. Now, left mid, I've gone with Ousmane Dembele. I went with a little bit of expensive wingers because I feel like Dembele and Lucas Moura are a lot better than some of the options I was looking at. So, Dembele, obviously, I do have him on my road to glory, hence why I've got him. 5 foot 10, high medium work rate. It's left footed, although it doesn't matter because he's 5 star, 5 star. 92 pace, 86 dribbling, 77 shooting, 36 defending, 77 passing, 56 physical. Look at his record for me. That's all from Cam, by the way. I play him Cam on my road to glory. Good agility, good balance, unbelievable pace. I don't actually notice the lack of stamina on Dembele. So definitely don't, don't, put, don't let the stamina put you off the card because I don't really notice it at all, if I'm being honest. I do think stamina this year isn't as big as it has been in other years. I notice in other years stamina has been huge on FIFA. I just don't notice it too much this year in my opinion. Now, as a striker or a cam, I've gone with Quincy Promise. You can pick this card up for like 6,000 coins. It blows my mind. 5 foot 9, high medium, 5 star skill moves, 4 star weaver, 89 pace, 82 dribbling, 80 shots, 79 passes, 71 physical. I mean, the fact you can pick that card up for 6,000 coins blows my mind. This card is incredible. You can use him as striker, you can use him at cam, it'll still do a job. And then last but not least, Rodrigo, six foot, high medium work rate, it's left footed, four star skill moves, three star weak for absolutely rapid. Whenever I've used this card in draft, he is incredible, YouTube. I mean, absolutely incredible. The only problem is with this card, good luck trying to buy him. He's extinct and he's always extinct and never not extinct because EA don't understand price ranges that much. <laughs> so good luck trying to buy him. You can never get him up. Now that is the team, of course. And then last but not least, a few noticeable options are Gabriel Jesus, Frankie de Jong and Gelson Martins. Gelson Martins, of course, the GOAT of the road to glory right at the start. Got us up into that Div 1 absolute ball of a player. So that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is the most overpowered players on FIFA 21, in my very humble opinion. Under 100k, though. I didn't want to go overboard in, oh, look, here's our 9, here's Hullet, here's Cristiano Ronaldo, here's Mbappe. Well, yeah, we know they're overpowered. I wanted to give you a few maybe hidden gems in here that, maybe not even hidden gems, but a few players that you guys wouldn't have thought of that, believe you me, they are overpowered. So if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. We are, like, literally 140-odd subs away from 10,000. If we can hit 10,000 subs, I will do a giveaway, and that is a promise to you guys. And last but not least... Twitch channel in the description down below. Go and drop it a follow. And I'll see you next time. Have a nice weekend. Peace.